Avtron HS35A encoder installation. The Avtron model HS35A is a hollow shaft rotary incremental encoder. A smaller version, the HS25A, is also available, and a magnetic version, the HS35M, is available. All install in a nearly identical manner. The HS35A has a hollow shaft and clamping collar to lock the encoder to the shaft. The HS35A can be installed either as an end of shaft model or as a through shaft model. Installation hardware listed in the manual and shown here is required for installation. This video demonstrates end of shaft installation. For all installations, ensure the mounting shaft is at least 1 and 3 8 or about 30 millimeters long. A high performance resin hollow shaft insert provides electrical isolation from motor shafts and permits models to fit a broad range of shaft sizes from 1 half inch to 1 inch as well as 12 millimeter to 20 millimeter. An anti-rotation bracket prevents rotation of the encoder while allowing for shaft end float and axial movement. The HS35A may be installed on TENV, TEFC, and TEBC style motors. Installation on a fan cover is shown in this video. To begin installation, loosen the HS35A clamping collar screw. Apply thread locker provided to the screw and reinstall the screw. Do not tighten fully at this time. Over tightening the HS35A clamping collar screws may bend the clamping fingers and make installation difficult and cause the encoder to wobble. Install the anti-rotation bracket to the face of the encoder using the provided screws and lock washers. As required, install the shaft sizing insert into the encoder to properly fit the motor shaft size. Before installing the HS35A on the motor, use a dial indicator gauge to ensure motor shaft runout TIR does not exceed two thousandths of an inch, 0 .05 millimeters. Use a caliper gauge to verify motor shaft diameter Clean the motor shaft of any dirt and remove any burrs. For HS35A units that do not use a shaft insert, apply anti-seize to the motor shaft to aid in removal. Anti-seize is not needed if the encoder has a resin shaft insert. Install the tether T-bolt on the fan cover. Fit the HS35A gently over the motor shaft. Tighten the screw on the HS35 clamping collar until snug. Then tighten to 35 to 40 inch pounds using a T handled hex wrench or torque wrench with hex bit. Do not use a standard right angle hex wrench for final tightening as this will not provide enough torque and the HS35A may slip on the motor shaft. To prepare the arm for mounting, snap the plastic washers together around the anti rotation arm. Secure free end of anti-rotation bracket to frame. Use nut, flat washers, and lock washers included to secure the tether bolt. The arm should be flat with no bend or deflection. Use additional washers as needed to install the bracket without a large deflection or bend. For 8.5 inch C-face mounting, not shown here, install a 1 half inch to 3 8 inch reducer 
with a 3816 threaded stud supplied to secure anti-rotation bracket using insulating hardware. If the shaft does not extend through the encoder body fully, install the encoder rear cover using the supplied screws. If the recommended protective basket is to be installed, use either T-bolts for fan cover mounting or bolt to the C-face. In this video, we will demonstrate installation on a fan cover. Install the T-bolts in preparation for the basket installation. Pivot the basket over the encoder connector. When installing the basket over the encoder, do not use force. The basket should fit in place with no resistance and no contact with the encoder body. Thread the bolts through the basket mounting holes and use the supplied washers and nuts to secure the basket. After installing the basket, inspect to be sure that the encoder is not contacting the basket in any area, including the connector. If the encoder contacts the basket, this will prevent normal movement and may shorten encoder life. HS35A installation is now complete. The HS35 is now installed properly and ready to output signals to your PLC or drive. If an oscilloscope is used to test the encoder, the signal should look roughly as shown here, without large variations in the signal. The signals shown here were taken at steady speed. The HS35A should provide years of trouble-free service.